Hello, in this channel, I'm gonna be sharing with you different DIYs that you're not only gonna use them for yourself, but you're gonna be able to sell them. My goal is to turn your hobbies into a business. to another video my name is norma acosta with mommy's diys and today i wanted to share um these beautiful glasses i made uh they're for the groom and the bride and here's the uh here's the one for the for the groom okay and here's the one for the bride they're very simple and very fun to make. I put some rhinestones right in here, the regular rhinestones. So for this video, you're gonna need uh, 44 beads. And let me share with you guys. I'm going to uh, be doing this, this combination, three of the light pink. These are um, Swarovski crystals, and you can see the detail in them. So I'm gonna be putting three of the light pink and one of the clear, three and one. And I'm gonna use a total of 44. And I just wanted to share with you, uh, let me settle the camera right in the middle. These right here, those are regular uh, regular rhinestone uh, hot fix, hot picks uh, stones. And this one right here, those are Swarovski. So if you can see the difference in the detail and the and all the sparkle that you get from this one, those are the ones we're gonna use in that design. So for your for these uh, glasses, you're gonna need also two glasses. And I got this at the Dollar Tree. So you're gonna need two of them. You need to clean them and, and uh, erase the, your fingerprints. You're gonna need two acrylic paints, a white and a black or whatever combination you want, depending on the bride and the groom. Uh, you're gonna need a ruler, any ruler. You're gonna need a jewelry glue. I really like this one. And I'm gonna be putting all the links of all, in the description of, of all the products that I'm using. So um, I have some links that you can go straight to buy the product. This is a painter's tape. And you, you're gonna use Two different tools i usually use this pick this is what i use to weed uh my vinyl when i do uh, when i'm printing and this is just a little blade in case i need it you're going to need some scissors any kind of scissors and you're going to need two of these sponges it can be any kind of sponge it just happened that i had these i'm going to be using the the black for this one and the white for this one because I will you already use them that way. Uh, we're gonna also need some, uh, some tool, some loose one, because we're gonna make this uh, nice bowl. And I'm experimenting with some sparkle. So I'm gonna be using some sparkle on once I finish making the, the, the bowl. For that, you're gonna use any color sparkle. I have a large one, a, a white one, I can't find it right now, but these ones here, I got them at the Dollar Tree as well. So I'm gonna be using this white one, okay? And I'm, I'm experimenting with this glue. I also got them, got it at the at Dollar Tree, and I really like it. It doesn't work for all crafts, but it does work for some. Okay, so that's what we're gonna do. So let me get settled and let's start working here we are ready and i also forgot to tell you guys you also are uh, gonna need um, a crystal uh, katana this is to uh, grab this is to grab on the pearls much easier and it helps you like put them in place okay so that's uh and like i said i'm gonna put all the links of the items that we're using in the description below um I also like to ask you if you guys are um, enjoying the content of my videos I would really appreciate if you can if you can subscribe if you haven't and please give me thumbs up 
and uh, share it if you can. I would really, really appreciate it. Okay, so this is what we're gonna be doing with the glass. And the way that you're gonna do it, so you're gonna mark at one inch right there. And you're gonna go to the opposite side, right the opposite, the opposite. And you're gonna do two inches. There it is. This is a marker, it's not uh, permanent. You can take it right off. So um, it's for an easy removal. So now what you're gonna do, you're gonna get a piece of the, the tape and you just kind of like pull aside the, the size that you think it's uh, the right size for your glass. Here's my glass. So now what you're gonna do, you're gonna go on the side where it measures one inch, cut it half, half ways. You wanna cut it half ways on the side that is not sticky and put a mark. And you're gonna put that right above the one inch, okay? And then you can go ahead and erase that. And then you're gonna grab your tape and you're gonna go directly and straight down to where the second, the two inches is at. And you're just gonna go right across, right there, and tape it. Now, if you look here, it made like a, it made a bubble. Okay, so the only thing that you're gonna do, you're gonna cut right in the middle all the way through. And then you're gonna tape it overlapping one on top of the other one. Just like that. And there it is. Okay, you see a, con a continuation from one side to the other one. Then you're gonna go here, and there is, right there, is, is where the mark is at. So you're gonna cut your tape right the, where the mark is at. Right there okay so you cut it you may need to try more than once that's what happened to me but now I kind of like I, I got it now then you're gonna get the other side and you're gonna cross it way right across right across the other one right there okay and you're gonna do the same thing here where it bubbles, you're just gonna cut it either with your scissors or with this blade. So you're gonna cut it right in the middle. There it is, you're gonna put it down and then you're gonna overlap it. Let me turn it so that you can see. And there it is, okay? And then you're gonna go back here and you're gonna cut the, the same thing. You're gonna cut the tape like right right there, right where the, where the uh, second mark is at. So there it is. So because I already, I already cleaned this, but because I'm touching it a lot to put the tape, then we're gonna go ahead and clean it. So we have two clean glasses. The acrylic that we're using dries really quick, and what I notice is that I can use uh, one coat for the black one, but for the white one, it kind of uh, you can see through. So you need to use between two and three coats of that one. So that the next step, I have a paper here, but you can have like a, a little plastic container, whatever works for you. I like this because once I use it, I can throw it away. So I'm gonna go ahead and do the white one first, only because I'm gonna need to do a second coat. So here it is. I'm gonna pour some of my paint 
into my plate right there. And then here's my here's my sponge. And you're just gonna go all around going in little little kicks right on the with the paint on the glass. Okay, adding the the paint. You can also do this with glitter if you want, but for that you will need all different uh, different items to do that. Okay, so you just go all the way around. So here's the first one, and we leave our sponge right next to it. And then we move it to this side a little bit. And then we continue with the black. So by the time we finish with the black, the white should be ready for a second coat. Let me put a little more. So here we go with the next one, with the black one. Okay, so here's the first one. Okay, so it's been about 15 minutes and I'm ready to do a second coat. So we're just gonna go over it. We're just gonna go over it uh, for the second time, doing the same padding strokes, just like that. And I'm gonna end up doing two coats, I mean, three coats of the white and two coats of the black. And in between, we're gonna leave it, uh, we're gonna let it dry for between 15 and 20 minutes, depending on how cold or hot it is. When it's hot, you usually take it, um, you usually leave it uh, less time, less time than, because it dries faster. Okay, so let's do uh, three parts all together and two here and see you back. Welcome back. So here we are again. Um, I already did three coats of, of, of the white and two coats of the black. So basically what we're gonna do right now, we're gonna take off the tape of both of them. You need to go slow so you don't tear more than the the um, the paint that you're supposed to. Oh, shoot. <laughs> okay. So we're taking off the tape. So here's the first one, right there. Let's go ahead and take off the other one. And then right after this, we're gonna need to, we're gonna need to start um, adding the, the stones. They, they are called hot fix and you can use a, uh, a heat gun and, and um, apply them, but I don't do that when I do glass. So just a, a little pieces right here that I need to scrape. So what I do is I take my little knife and I go very slowly around it and make it uh, fix it, but I don't do this until the end. Um, so now we're gonna go ahead and uh, go ahead and finish up the black one, which we're gonna put the the three that look look like buttons. So we're gonna go ahead and use our glue. This one, I, this is the one I use. You can use whichever glue you like. So we're just gonna put three dots, not too big. 
you can add a, a shirt that will be like making a, a white across, but I don't, um, I haven't done that yet. Right now I like them nice and simple. So this is what you use your tool for. You just go, ah, pop, pop. It might, this one might be too heavy for that. So you just pick it up and put it over the glue. There's one. There's two. And there's three. <laughs> there you go. So now we're going to go ahead and do the, the these other ones. But before we do that, I want to show you how to make the little skirt that is going to have in, 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 the, um, in the bottom. What you're going to do is you're going to grab this tool. And this I get from the from a website is www.nashvillewraps.com and I'm going to put the link of that in the description be, uh, below. The the uh, these uh, the glasses I usually go online at uh, dollar3.com and I order uh, I order them by boxes and then I have them shipped to my neighborhood Dollar Tree, okay? And these stones these are uh, the Swarovski crystals. I get them from firemountaingems.com. Uh, Nashville and Fire Mountain require that you have a, a resale uh, certificate, but it is worth it. Especially Fire Mountain Gems, um, they have four different prices. So depending on the amount of beads or things you use is the price that you get. Okay, so... We're going to go ahead and make six small loops in each side. Okay? So you're just going to be doing this is three, four, five, and six. So then you're going to go ahead and cut little longer than the other one because you're going to cut another piece right in right here because we're going to be using this one to tie it up you're going to tie it up twice and i'm sorry if sometimes my videos are longer longer than maybe expected but i just want to give you guys as much information as i can for this company, the Nashville Wraps, they have the tool, they have boxes, they have uh, gift bags. Check it out. And with them, if you if you purchase $300 or more, they give you free shipping. Okay, so now we're going to go ahead and unfold the, each loop. So here it is. So now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna bring, I'm gonna put my trash can up here, right in here. And I'm gonna use this glue from the Dollar Tree. And I'm gonna spray it. Just like that. And I'm, I'm gonna get my glitter also from the Dollar Tree. And I'm gonna put it over it. There is the, see how shiny it looks? I don't know if you can see it. So I'm gonna put it aside. This is another one I did also. So I'm gonna put, put them both aside so they can dry. And now we're gonna get ready to put our beads. So when you put your glue, let me put this away. This is the glue that I'm gonna be using. Go uh, go a little bit at a time. So what what I what you're gonna do? I'm a left-hander, so I'm gonna go this way. Maybe you're gonna go the other way, uh, but you're just gonna put a line right right at the edge of the white. So you can either put them like right above the 
the white or you can put it on the outside it's up to you for some reason i like um, um i like to do it like right on top of it so like i said i'm going to be doing um one of this that is going to be right in the middle and then i'm going to be doing three of the pink and uh, i believe i'm using the a total of 46. okay so here it is That way, if you have any imperfection in the line, the beads are going to cover it. Okay, so here's the first ones. Right there. So we're just going to go all the way around. okay here it is look at how beautiful that looks at this point we just need to put our bow right right around it and we're going to tie it up twice just tight enough to hug the bottom of it there it is we just need to cut it and at this point here they are guys look at how beautiful they look look at that there you go and you did it yourself okay so at this point the only thing that we need to do is uh, clean it up uh, take care of, of the um, all the little parts that uh, need to be uh, cleaned and you can use alcohol or you can use acetone uh, the stuff that you use to uh, take off the uh, polish remover and, um, and that's all you guys so all I wanted to add is that um, how much will I sell them for okay so I I price I price these at three dollars each so that's six dollars for both of the glasses um, the uh the acrylic it's a dollar each color the this here uh one dollar uh the sorboski crystals 20 cents each is eight dollars and 80 cents if you use regular uh regular beads like here then it will be a lot less but for these ones I use Swarovski crystals, so that's eight eighty. So it comes out to seventeen eighty at retail price. Uh, even though you get it at wholesale, I already talked many times about that. Plus, I pay myself fifteen dollars an hour, and it took me about fifteen dollars. So the total price of of this set is thirty two eighty. So I would probably say thirty two ninety nine okay so that's all for me you guys i hope you like the content of this video make sure that if you haven't subscribed subscribe uh, share and like and may the lord bless you today and every day you and your family and see you next time thank you mm -hmm.